This is a uh, red-eared slider. Or no, a painted turtle. There he goes. That's like the fifth time I've caught him. He's right there. He's trying to hide. <laughs> Wait. Nope. I I didn't get him the second time. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get him the second time. Uh, I did get him the first time. There was two of them too. I'm here at the dam now. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Well, actually, um, I've been here for a few hours. <laughs> I've been seeing all different things, but I'm at the dam now. Um, I actually saved some little baby wood ducks today. It was so cool. About a hundred years ago or so, they were um, almost extinct. Yeah, they were almost extinct about a hundred years ago or so. And they're really rare, and I almost never see wood ducks. Today I got to hold a newborn baby wood duck, and I got to save it from death, because he was going one way, his mom was going the other way. They were about half a mile apart, and he would have died. But I picked up the baby wood duck, and pretty much what I did, I carried him to his mom. I picked him up because I do bird banding, so I have the experience. And there's actually, um, people always say if there's a baby bird, don't touch it because the mom will smell your scent and think that it's not hers and won't care for it. That's actually a myth. I talked to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and yeah, that's a, that's a myth that does not really exist. That is false. So if you ever hear somebody saying that, tell them, you're wrong, says the Cornell Lab of Ornithology and bird experts. Because I had the experts tell me but I'm just hiking here, trying to get to the bamboo forest. I don't know, I might turn back now, um, cause back kinda closer to where my house was, there was all kinds of warblers. There were all kinds of like the coolest birds ever. I really wanted them on video, but you know. Well, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna head back, um, maybe, I can get some hawks or something. There was one hawk, and um, I got him on video for a little bit, but then he kind of like escaped. But I'm gonna try um, to go back. Maybe I can get some new warblers. I did think get the um, yellow throat, uh, red start, and magnolia warbler. Um, yeah, I got some of those, but I might get some other things back at the park. But yeah, I'm pretty much at the dam now. I think I'm gonna um, head back a little bit. So, hopefully you guys will like my videos. Um, I go out all the time, and usually I only get one, one to five videos a day. And it's just a lot of work and effort, so I hope you all like my videos because I put a lot of work and effort into finding those birds. And sometimes I don't even find any on a good day. Sometimes I'll be lucky if I get two videos of a cool bird. But all the rare birds and things, it takes um, years. So I got I got a bird today, and um, it's the first one I've seen of that species ever. And that's four years, four years, and I've only seen that bird once. And I got, I was lucky enough to actually bring my camera and get it on video. 
for you guys. But bye.